I kind of just wanted to make a video of kind of like reflecting on my vlog. Good afternoon, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Tyler? Okay. And how are we, Emerald? I doing good. So, it's like about four o'clock or so, but we are at the park. We're at Heritage Point Park. There's a dog park here. But we are working on um, MRL's fear of people. So just walking around, working on that, giving him treats, have him go to the dog park to play in a little bit. So we're just having a good old time. He is doing absolutely wonderful. I am so proud of the fluff, but where are you going? He's super excited. So onward on our wonderful journey. Hey guys, say hi. And there's Emeril, Emeril. Hi baby. So it was a success. Yes! And I'm going to roll down some windows so that little man can get some air when we go on the road. But he did so good. He, the only thing he mainly growled about was another dog. That was, of course, his size because he's weird about dogs his own size for some reason. Um, but he did a lot better about being nervous around other people he was really nice and polite he would act a little scared but they would act fine he listened to commands a lot better just today was a very good day for him and I'm super proud of him of course we got to work on pulling on the leash but like baby steps guys just little bits at a time so now we're gonna go to the store and grab a couple things before we head home grab some Sanic are we gonna get some Sanic yeah Okay, and we'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys, so there's Miss Sassy Girl right here on the bed, and Emeril is on the bed over there. And yes, I have the camera on the chest. This would be contemplation with Captain America, or deep thoughts with Darth Vader, but since both of them are broken, it's gonna be contemplation on camo. Or, let me think, sincere thoughts with Sassy. But anyway, um, I kind of just wanted to make a video of kind of like reflecting on my vlog. So um, I noticed today when I looked at my playlist August 2017, yes I have a playlist for every single month of every single year that I have vlogged, which this December would be two years. So if you ever want to go back and see pressing the paint button from the beginning to now, then there's all those playlists to go and enjoy. Um, my nose itches. So, I noticed that with August there was only 10 videos. And that <laughs> made me kind of feel like crap. Because, you know, I promised you guys that I would give daily vlogs. Like, every single day you would see something. Even if there's absolutely nothing going on. And all I've done is lay in bed and watch YouTube. Which has happened a lot lately. Um, but I haven't done that. And I know that the biggest reason is because depression has really been taking out my motivation. Um, but then I saw on Twitter an article by Vlog Nation. And if, you got, if any of you are vloggers, then you definitely need to go subscribe to Vlog Nation's newsletter on their website, vlognation.com. I think that's what it was. They have a lot of great resources and articles for vloggers of any type. And I love seeing what they have. And they even do giveaways sometimes, so yay. But Vlog Nation released an article about um, when you start losing motivation to vlog and like what to do about that. And sorry about the random noise of Sassy. It's all getting their stuff licked up. Um, so it suggested writing these down, but I thought I'd tell you guys kind of some of the things that it was suggesting to mainly to keep myself accountable because 
I mean, it's really hard. What, mental illness is hard in general, but it's been very hard lately to keep motivated to make vlogs. And then I feel guilty and beat myself up over the fact that I can't keep up with the promise that I gave you guys. So now I'm just putting a solid, remember Raven, this is why you started pressing the panic button. And you're letting your subscribers know now so that they can tell you when you're like, oh, I can't do this, this sucks. They'd be like, Raven, remember why you did this. And then I'm going to write it down where I can see it. So I'd be like, Raven, remember why you did this. So, yeah. I've done a few, couple of, like, in the past, I've done, like, videos explaining the goals of pressing the panic button. I know one of them was definitely in the December 2015 um, playlist, which is when I started vlogging. And I don't remember when the other one was. But, uh, but that was one of the things to start with was... What was your motivation to vlog? That was one of the first things Vlog Nation talked about. So I thought I would start with that. What motivated me to vlog? Um, well, whenever I first was starting vlogging, this was about a month after I got my official diagnosis of generalized anxiety disorder, major depressive disorder, and panic disorder. Um, and, I mean, I've, been, I've had these for a long time, for years. And then it felt just more justified I guess having that diagnosis so of course what do I do I go on YouTube to try to see if there's people like me out there that I can relate to of course there were a bunch of like sciencey videos about this is what anxiety is your brain does this and blah 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 and then there were the videos from those from big name youtubers that like you know mental illness is not what they normally talk about and they just had that one video of oh hey I have depression okay so my battery just decided to crap out on me, so I'm going to get this puppy charged. There we go. Now I can't be over by the chest because the charging cord is way too short. So I'm just going to be here with Sassy right in front of me. And there's MRL on the bed. So anyway, um, so I guess what I was really wanting was just like someone that I can watch that, you know, what their life is like with these mental illnesses. So I could find somebody to relate to. Um, at this time, I'd also started watching The Fry Life, which if you guys don't know who they are, go subscribe to them. They are wonderful. And no, it's F-R-E-Y, not Fry Like French Fries. Um, but it's about this couple, Peter and Mary Fry. Mary has cystic fibrosis. And of course, Peter's her husband. And their vlog is about their life and like her living with cystic fibrosis and him being a caretaker and then of course with their wonderful service dog Oliver. Um, so kind of combining lack of resources and inspiration from watching the Fry Life showing what life is like for them, I was like what if I started the vlogs about what life is like with mental illness, with anxiety and depression and panic attacks so that I can motivate other people and encourage them. Just like what I was trying to find online and I couldn't find. I was like, why don't I become that resource? Because, um, of course, one of my passions in life is helping other people and making other people feel good and feel happy. And I'm like, you know, maybe sharing my life experiences can help somebody. Showing they're like, you know, yes, I suffer with these three things. And all, all sorts of stresses in the world, as you've seen through the past almost two years. But, you know, I'm still here. I still do stuff. And I've shown through my vlogs that yes, I've ha I have anxiety, depression, and panic attacks. But, you know, I went to college. I graduated college. I had a job. I've had some other part-time jobs. I'm working a job now. I have friends. And I've hung out with friends. And I've traveled. And I'm training my own service dog over there. And... It's like, you know, I still live life, yet, you know, I have these mental illnesses. Um, so, yeah, the motivation mainly is to help and encourage other people, which I hope that I do for you guys. I really hope that I can be an encouragement to you so you know that, you know, yes, you have these mental illnesses. You probably have other mental illnesses. I know you guys have all sorts of arrays of different mental illnesses and, of course, ones that I don't suffer from, but, hey, that doesn't matter. The point is, you guys deal with an illness, an invisible illness. Nobody can see it. 
No one else can feel it but you. And with all the stigma in the world and people being like, oh, you're fine, and all the daily bullcrap you have to go through with living your life with mental illness, I want to encourage you and be like, you are still awesome. You're still an awesome person. Um, that actually reminded me, one of my therapists actually wrote a book, a children's book called It's Okay to Be Awesome. Um, and it's about a kid with, who's diagnosed with ADHD and he's worried about telling his best friend. And then she's like, dude, you're still awesome. So if you ever see that, that was my therapist and she's amazing. I suddenly forgot her name now, but <laughs> I could probably find the book and let you guys know her name. She's amazing. Um, but yeah, just, I'm sort of rambling. I'm sorry, guys. But just in the whole nutshell of things that no matter what you're struggling with in life, you are still a person. You are still valuable. You are still awesome. Never forget that, guys. And that's the big thing I wanted to motivate people with was just reminding them that, you know, you're still important. Even if you got all this going on in your head and all sorts of stress in the world and family or friends, you know, not being very supportive or whatever, that I'm here for you. The whole pressing the panic button family, we're all here for you. All 181 of you, so woohoo! Um, and that's just something I gotta keep reminding myself is that I am needing to be an inspiration for other people. Because, I mean, when I first started vlogging, it really didn't hit me until one of my closest friends told me that they saw my vlog. And that I've helped them with a lot of stuff. And I'm like, whoa, what? So, yeah. I guess that's mainly my big motivation. Another thing I think the article pointed out, if I can remember, dear Lord, my memory sucks enough as is, and now I'm trying to remember things from an article that I retweeted. I probably should have reread it, but you know, life, I'm tired. I've had a long day. And it just went, I'm going to have a long day tomorrow too. But we'll get to that. Um, another thing was, like, what are your, like, long-term and short-term goals of your vlog? I mean, right now, I guess one of my goals, I don't know if it's long-term or short-term, is just getting back to daily vlogging. I really want to get back to that and get back to the promise I made to you guys. And, of course, that is a challenge because that requires me dealing with this bullcrap in my head. Because depression sucks. But that's a goal to work for. I know one of my short-term go goals, blah, can't talk, is that I really want to hit 200 subscribers. And I know we can do it. I know you guys can do it. Because it's because of you that there's even subscribers. And of course, it's because of you that I continue to vlog, even though I've not been, you know, fulfilling my end of the bargain lately. Which, again, I'm sorry. But <laughs> um, and of course, a long-term goal is for pressing the panic button to reach as many people as it possibly can. I mean, whether that's 200, 300, I don't know, 3,000, 3 million, whatever. The point being that it can be an outreach towards other people that need that encouragement and need inspiration and need to see, hey, you know, this person is like me. You know, I still live my life despite all this crap going on. And of course, another big motivator is breaking the stigma of mental illness. One of my mottos for pressing the panic button is, for those who know, I'm here for you. For those who don't, I'm here to educate you. Which means that for those of you who suffer with mental illness or any kind of physical illness or illness in general, I'm here for you. I'm here to encourage you, tell you that you're awesome and that don't give up, keep fighting, you're strong. And yes, life sometimes sucks and sometimes being told those phrases make you want to pull your own hair out. But deep down you know that it's a good thing. Um, and to show that, you know, there are other people like you that suffer with mental bullcrap and yet, you know, they live life. And then for the second part, to educate those who don't know, is to show that because, of course, mental illness has a lot of stigmas and stereotypes um, ranging from, like, you know, people who are depressed only cry a lot. People with anxiety only, like, 
it's so obvious that they're anxious and like, ah. And that everyone who's bipolar or schizophrenic is gonna go and murder people or whatever. When that's completely false. Yes, there are very few people that fit those stereotypes. But that's not everybody. And that's what I want to show through this vlog is that, you know, look at the life that I live and at the lives of everyone else and just do I look like I'm shaking in a corner or crying all the time? No. I, you can't always see that something's bothering me unless I tell you, but then, you know, I still live my life. So it's to encourage others, but also to show that, you know, you need to look past the stereotypes and the stigmas and see what, you know, the person for the person and not for the mental illness, which I know is amazing, but yeah, I know, I just so rambled and now my brain's kind of clocked out and has forgotten. There was another point I was going to make and I forgot what it was. I think it was something about steps to keep up the motivation or something and mainly it's just dealing with my depression. Um... I know one thing that I'm really working towards is getting to a new psychiatrist to get my meds adjusted because I know I'm pretty sure that I just need a med adjustment to help with the depression and be back to more like a baseline kind of thing because right now I'm on the highest dose of Prozac and I'm really not feeling like it does anything anymore. So that's one of the steps I'm taking towards my mental health is trying to find a psychiatrist and be able to get my meds adjusted so I can go back to feeling more like myself and having more motivation and you know being able to get back into vlogging and being with you guys because I miss you guys I do and of course I'm also on other social media sites I may not post often but I'm there <laughs> so always remember guys if you need someone to talk to or you want to like talk about something feel free feel free to private message me on any of my social media. Snapchat, though, I'm kind of bad at checking, but everything else, my Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, YouTube, I check every day. So, there you go. Um, but, yeah. Watch that as soon as I turn the camera off, I will remember what else I was going to say, because now I'm not remembering. But, I promise, guys, I'm trying to get back into daily vlogging because I love it. I really do. Thanks to this depression, I have been losing interest to do a lot of things that I love doing. Like, of course, vlogging, making other videos. Cosplaying is a huge one. You guys know, if you know me well, you know that I love cosplay. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, but I'll get there. I promise. We could do this, guys. So now I'm going to sign off for the night and